Good evening, everyone. This is Isabella Brave. I am very sick. <laughs> very, very sick. Sorry about all the noises because my cats are not sick and they make a lot of noise. Okay, so for those of you who forgot who I was or don't know that I'm sick, I have fibromyalgia, which, um, let me explain. Okay, this is me. I hurt here, here, to here, and, and here. <laughs> so I've been to the hospital a lot, but they give you free bracelets, which is really nice for a night on the town if you don't know what goes with anything. This one's my favorite. It says... It's, I don't know if you could see, fall precautions, which um, I think I'm going to wear in autumn, just to let everyone know, hey, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sick. Okay, the running joke is that I need to make my health number one, because it feels like number two. So, I'm at the hospital a lot, I'm at the doctors a lot, and um, I'm sorry about how I look. Normally, I look like the Crypt Keeper, except without the tuxedo, and not as funny. It, more puns than the Crypt Keeper, which is a lot of puns. So, but yesterday I had a good day because I drove because I have problems walking and I have problems, I can't drive, obviously, but I drove yesterday to the post office and they have Betty Davis stamps. I can't see what you can see. Look at, they have Betty Davis stamps, which looks pretty good for Betty Davis. No offense to Betty Davis, but she was, you know, if you think I have big eyes. Anyway, I wanted to thank all of you who have been praying for me, because I think it's working. Because I'm little by little by little getting better. I can walk a little more. I can eat a little more. Um, I can't wait to stop wearing nightgowns, because... <sighs> I feel like I'm a hundred years old. <laughs> and I wish I had some good anecdotes for you. I wish there was an antidote for me. They don't really know what to do for me. Some doctors are very worried and kind of befuddled and some doctors are um, jerks. <laughs> so thank you for um, praying for me and wishing me well and and all the support because I need it a lot. Inside of me there is a warrior. But right now I am a golden girl. So a little bit taller than a golden girl. I'm rambling. I probably have about two drops of blood in my body and even less food as sick as I am. But I wanted to let you guys know that I have not died and I'm here and I'm going to fight with all I've got to stay, to help. And I've never been in this bad condition, but I am determined. Oh, that's what I was going to tell you. Okay. This morning, when I got my mail, there's concrete all over the ground, uh, cement, you know. And these little clovers, the little green clovers, like from uh, St. Patrick's Day, the plant, were growing up out of the cement. No dirt and no nothing and no rain. And there they were growing up out of the cement. And I was thinking, that's like me. Do you know what I mean? So, oh, and I've been getting a lot of letters that a lot of people have been laid off. I'm so sorry. You know, I was too in December, and I'm very, very sorry. But look at it this way. All of the years you have been working, 
And for me, I've been working since I was 15 years old. Which is longer than I wish it was. <laughs> In a way, you are probably getting back some of your own money. But it will be a short time. We will get better. I believe it. I believe it. So, um... And be glad you're not as sick as I am. And if you find yourself sad or bored, pray. And if you find yourself okay, pray for me. <laughs> so that's all. And I'm sorry about all this. So I love you all very much. And good night for now. <laughs>